Bom dia guys, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, I am today filming with my wife's telephone because my telephone, I don't know what, there was something wrong with the sound, so I don't know if the, if the image is as beautiful as with my phone, I don't know if the sound is good, I'm just going to give it a try with my wife's telephone. I am going to drive to a really cool place here in Portugal where I can park the car near the beach and show you an amazing view from these cliffs. And of course there, I'm going to talk to you guys about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. And yes, some really cool charts, also sharing what we did yesterday. And of course, some beautiful images of this beautiful Bitcoin Prime Machina. Because man, so many people already saw it now here and so many people already asked me about Bitcoin and about the car. And I think it's going to be a huge success the next couple of months. So stay tuned and enjoy today's video. Woo! All right. Well, I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. No, no. I've been down so long that my mind get no rest no no this ain't easy darling cause the devil was on my trail huh. I've been running Good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, the car on the back of me, that's the Bitcoin Machina. We are driving through Portugal, Spain and some other countries the next couple of months, exploring how Bitcoin is doing here in Portugal and in these other countries. Yes, you might recognize us from a few years ago when we as a family went all into Bitcoin after selling literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our cars. We went all into Bitcoin and now four years later still traveling around the world guys coming to you now from Lagos area in Portugal where I will share cool news about Bitcoin blockchain and live with you guys on a daily base I want to show you how this whole tour is evolving at the moment as the Bitcoin family as you used for me on Mondays guys I already did a show in the morning with hard forking and Lisa and Edwards about the Bitcoin and Ethereum charts and of course I will add that part of the show into this video as well but let's talk some Bitcoin blockchain and live guys live let's start with the live part guys because yesterday we visited another family here in portugal which is also named taihutu so it's family they were also from the netherlands i never met them in the netherlands we are all related we are all descendants of the island of haruku hula liu it's called in the moluccan archipel in indonesia so he saw on instagram that we were in portugal and he was like didi i'm also from taihutu i'm living here in portugal come and visit us so that is what we did yesterday we went there with the kids we visited the family they have one kid as well it was a really beautiful time um, they have a beautiful 
piece of land with a few houses and all that stuff. They are building a community kind of living environment, self-sufficient and all that stuff. Exactly yeah, what my wife and I am dreaming about as well, many times. So we were invited there, we had some lunch over there, afterwards we went to a restaurant, we had some dinner over there, we had a lot of talks about our past and about you know how we as uh, Pali Indonesian slash Moluccan kids grew up in the Netherlands and what, what it did to us as kids and um, because you know we were educated in a different way than the normal Dutch kid children. Amazing time. I hope you're watching this video and if you're watching guys, thank you for inviting us to your house and having this amazing time yesterday while I see this amazing view. And of course, uh, sorry, we are going to meet again and again and again because yes, we are family. <laughs> but now I'm going to share this amazing view with you guys. Wow. Portugal keeps amazing me. Portugal keeps surprising me. Portugal keeps giving me goosebumps moments, goosebump views like this one. I didn't even know I was going to see this. I just drove. I wanted to drive somewhere with a car next to the sea. And now I see this. It's Portugal is like it's a it's like very it's a secret. It's almost a secret country that has so much beauty to share with us. It, you need to see this view. Beautiful. I will turn around. Yes, Portugal keeps amazing me, guys. And yes, that was the family part, the life part. And what is not normal at the moment is that Uniswap's volume is 15 billion US dollar in this industry. 15 billion US dollar. That's a huge growth. As you can see on this chart, bam, 15 billion US dollar in Uniswap, and, and, and then a couple of more billions in all these other DeFi industry projects is growing hugely not only the growth in volume but also the daily usage if you take a look at this chart bam that the daily usage of these decks are growing tremendously as well these decentralized exchanges the usage the volume all of this is growing so i'm very much looking forward to see how this develops in the future are we going to see these huge decentralized exchanges becoming bigger than the centralized exchanges like Binance or OKEx or all of these, are these decentralized exchanges going to be bigger or are they just, or, or, or will they stay behind of these huge exchanges like OKEx and Binance? Let's see what is going to happen in the future, but it's a very exciting time, not only for Bitcoin, but for the whole industry. So many things are changing at the moment. The whole monetary system will be disrupted and the cryptocurrency and blockchain will be responsible for the disruption of this monetary system and is going to make this whole system a little bit more fair in my opinion but let's see where this all will develop and um, nobody can predict the future nobody can nobody can predict the prices we will just need to see what will happen i will leave the biggest part of charting to lisa because she is doing this in the hard fucking show every monday so i will add those charting parts about bitcoin and ethereum into this video as well but i will talk a little bit to you guys about one really cool chart that we didn't talk about yet and i really like the chart because it's a little bit funny but also very educational as well so let's take a look at that chart BAM! So yes, that chart that I just bammed onto your screen like this, BAM! This one is the Bitcoin Big Mac Index. The Bitcoin Big Mac Index, DD. Yes, the Big Mac Index. You know the Big Mac? You know this, this is a hamburger you can eat at the McDonald's? This is the Big Mac Index. How many Big Macs can you order with one Bitcoin in all these countries? Globally, on average, we can order 4,475 Big Macs for one Bitcoin. If we take a look at the Netherlands, for example, one Bitcoin only buys you 2,730 Big Macs. Here in Portugal, I am lucky. I can buy 3,140 Big Macs for one Bitcoin. So that's a little bit more Big Macs than in the Netherlands. That's about the same in Thailand, guys. That's why I love Thailand and Portugal. I can buy more Big Macs in both of these countries for my Bitcoins. But if I want to be able to buy even more Big Macs, guys, I need to go to Turkey. In Turkey, I can buy around 7,888 Big Macs for one Bitcoin. So Turkey makes living for me a little bit more cheaper on my Bitcoins. 
Are you understanding what I try to say with this Big Mac index? So where we travel to cheap countries, one Bitcoin gives us a way more time to spend in these countries because it's cheaper living over there. So if we would like to live in the cheapest way, I think we need to go to Argentina. Because in Argentina, one Bitcoin buys me almost 55,000 Big Macs. So the cost of living in Argentina is way lower than the cost of living here in Europe or any other country in the world. So one Bitcoin, 55,000 Big Macs in Argentina, one Bitcoin, 4,400 Big Macs on average, and one Bitcoin, 2,700 Big Macs in most of these European countries. So if it is up to me, and should be up to you guys, you know now where you need to go and spend your Bitcoins. Go to Argentina, eat yourself full of 55,000 Big Macs for one Bitcoin. <laughs> I love the chart, but let's go into the real charts. Lisa, you can take it over from here. Bam. This, this is the chart that I have on uh, TradingView. And uh, this is my long-term chart that, chart that shows us going to 26,000. So um, I've spoken to, about this chart over the course of every week, uh, basically on um, hard forking here. So we're in the B wave at the moment. So um, we're in, we could be in this sub B wave. So this potentially um, may not have finished and we could get an extension, which will drop us down to about 10,100. So don't be surprised if we do get a drop down to this region. Um, I've got a couple of buys in this sort of lower region, just in case we do. Um, or we could continue just straight up from here. So there's enough waves in here for this to be an ABC complete, which is a B wave. Um, so yeah, so we've got enough here or we could go one more down um, because a B wave can be a WXY as well. So we could have, so if I put, chuck some waves on that, if we go a WXY, so we've got, an X and then a Y to come down here. So that could be what we're looking at. Um, or we could have this wave complete and we're already heading up. So, you know, we've got these two patterns. If you're in spot, you can just, you know, sort of mitigate your risk and just sort of, you know, spot buy and sort of DCA. Um, I don't think we break below this blue sort of support line. I don't think at this point either we break 10,000. I think we're holding 10,000. I think that's a given right now. I think the exchanges and, you know, everyone sort of want Bitcoin to go higher. So I, I really believe that we, we will hold this region and we'll hit this sort of choppy region for the next little bit. So if we go back, um, we had a similar pattern in base two where we've got this... Um, breakthrough and then we've come down and we've just gone choppy so we've got this here we've got the breakthrough here and i think we're just going to go you know sort of sideways choppy for a little bit um we've got this is about twelve thousand, so we're going to hit that twelve thousand sort of resistance which is a really strong resistance so if we go back uh to the daily and and we can see sort of going back through here, we've got quite a bit of resistance like the whole way through. So, um, you know, this, this 12,000 mark is a really hard region to break. Um, yeah, so we're coming up. So this is our, uh, our full chart. And, you know, potentially we've got a, a 26,000. I, I see the 26,000 happening before uh, February next year when KYC is implemented onto sort of BitMEX and a lot of the exchanges. So I think this is really going to pump up. KYC will come in and then it's all going to drop back down. And I think we see um, like around the sort of seven, 8,000 afterwards, which is a really nice correction. And then we should move it, start moving again. So yeah, so that's kind so, of what so I see. You, so you think that um, one of the reasons that the Bitcoin price is going to pump up to 26K is um, that people can still pump it up without KYC at the moment. So they can make millions without being verified so that they can exchange on time mm -hmm. um, to take their profits. Yep. Oh my God, I thought the same. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I definitely think so. I think, you know, this is still very unregulated and KYC is the first like sort of implementation of the regulation. 
And while it's not, there's no KYC on BitMEX, there's no KYC on Bitfinex, you know, you don't have to. There's no KYC on Prime XBT. So, you know, these exchanges and these whales can basically do anything. So, you know, if people think right now we're dropping, there's no way. There's no way these exchanges are going to let that happen. So I, I don't see us breaking 10,000. You know, if we do, I, it, it's like I'd be like, oh, I'm completely wrong. But this is just like from being in the industry, in the crypto industry for such a long period and knowing how these exchanges work and how the minds of whales think, it's like shorters are just going to get wrecked. They, they're seriously just going to get wrecked. Ethereum is perfect as always. <laughs> it moves perfectly. I don't know why I don't just trade Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. So it went up. It hit the target on my squiggle. It's come back down. It's going to go up in a minute and then it'll come back down and then it'll go up. So it's like, yep, yeah, Ethereum's just going to do that. Yeah, I mean, staking is not That's how easy away. trading is. <laughs> <laughs> Ethereum is. <laughs> What's that? That's how... That's how easy trading is. Just simple. up and down. Just up yeah. and down. Simple. Yeah, yeah simple. So if we, if we zoom sort of this, we can see that it's, yeah, it's up and down. So it's, it's yeah. wedged in between the MAs at the moment. So we've got strong support on the 200. We're coming up to the 100. We've been rejecting. We're coming down. So that's pretty much how Ethereum's been working. Quick, quick question for you both on Bitcoin dominance. Obviously, the likes of, of Tone Vase and so forth have been calling for, for years for the death of the alts and how it, it really holds Bitcoin back. Uh, Price-wise on Bitcoin, what are, you, what are your thoughts on the, really, I mean, we're seeing sort of more alts come into the, into the market now. Uh, a lot of pundits were saying that will be gone by now. Uh, does it hold Bitcoin back, in your opinions? Short and sweet answer, maybe, on that one. A little bit, but not... No, yes and no. But you've got margin trading. A lot of the, the coins and tokens that we have margin trading on, it doesn't hold them back. Because even mm. if it moves sort of 1% or 2% a day, you're still able to make... 20 to uh you know 200 percent a day depending on your you know margin or whatever yep. and how extended you are on that so yes and no it holds bitcoin back because there's so much you know other sort of it's watered down in the market but majority of the time i think it's okay because you know it's it's a margin trade traded asset mm -hmm. and yeah it kind of doesn't really make a huge difference Eddie, so they, they've cleaned up both market? these charts actually I, Sean, I think short term, um, yes, short term, it's holding Bitcoin a little bit down. Uh, long term, I don't think. I think it's a good thing because, you know, so many people, so many different people in this world that won't be attracted by Bitcoin, but it will be attracted by some kind of a crazy, you know, stable currency or crazy DeFi currency or crazy other disruptive currency that is created to disrupt or decentralize uh, some kind of industry, sports coin or whatever, you know, you, you have a even Barcelona tokens in Spain now with the socials. Yeah. So people that will be attracted to football, they will go into this industry, industry through probably socials or, you know, people that will be into the real estate market will go into this market uh, through a real estate coin. And yeah. um, so it, it does draw money, new money into the industry. And of course that will withhold Bitcoin a little bit from growing in the beginning. But at the end, these people will understand, oh shit, and everything is crashing. All these DeFi projects are losing 60, 80%. Okay, Bitcoin only lost 20%. And then they will start to hedge again into Bitcoin as the new store of value, goldish. So yeah, I, I think it's positive in the long term, but in the short term, yes, we, we, we could have exploded a huge, big green dildo a little bit earlier. Hopefully Lisa's back here next Monday will be nice. I'm, I'm not coming back because they're not <laughs> nice to me. It's like, there's, there's no... <laughs> Talk to the we, hand. We might see you next Monday. No. <laughs> Talk to the hand with my big scar on it. <laughs> see you next week, people. Thank you. Next week. Bye. 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 Hope you enjoyed Lisa's charting. Now, one more chart that I want to share with you guys. This is this one. Bam! Yes, Plan B chart. Because we need to keep track on this Plan B chart. Yes, we can see another red dot now. Yeah, because we went into a new month. Every dot is a month. We started October. You can see that the September red dot was below the August red dot. 
So you could freak out now or you could zoom out and look at 2017, February and March, where you can see that the red dot was even lower as well than the dot of the month before. So that, does, that didn't mean we didn't see a bull run, that that's just the way this flows. This is the stock to flow model for Bitcoin. So yes, it doesn't matter that September closed lower than August, because now October again, this red dot is a little bit higher at the moment than September. And at the end of this month, we will close October and probably this red dot will be higher than the September dot. And then we will be in line for the stock to flow model, which will bring us to a price of $100,000 per Bitcoin in the next year. So we are still on track when it comes to the stock to flow chart cool chart always keep track on the chart by plan b uh, follow the guy on twitter as well because he has really cool information on his twitter and i'm not shilling him because he has way more followers than me but uh, i just like the way he makes his chart and makes his tweets uh, really makes you zoom out in crypto and zoom in at life and that is exactly what i'm going to do now guys <laughs> i'm going to tell you Thank you for watching this video. If you really like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it, with your family and share it with your family and friends, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified on every new video I make. I want to thank you again for watching. I want to leave you behind with what I always do. You need to zoom out in crypto. You need to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. I'm going to zoom out now and enjoy these beautiful views for some time and then drive back the Bitcoin Prime Machina to this beautiful nature area to the apartment where I will start to edit this video for you guys and then push it online so you can enjoy all these views as well. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye!